us is that with the current trend, by 2030, Harare will have no more wetlands. No more wetlands by 2030. What will that mean in terms of water provisioning for the city? A growing city, population is growing. What will that mean? What will that mean for the development of the city? What will that mean for the livelihoods of the people within the city? What will that mean for the Zimbabwe Strategic Development Plan where by 2030 we are intending to raise the, the status of people's lives in Zimbabwe? What will that mean? And it's a very, very good example that we must reflect on extremely seriously because it's not just happening, happening in Harare, it's happening all over uh, Zimbabwe. So the aspect of the science is scary, it's terrifying, decisions need to be made, recommendations have been made. We then have the aspect that is continuing of people already living in wetlands and every day there are new people going to live on wetlands. And those people are so desperate that they don't want to move. So what do we do? So action has to be taken. Decisions must be taken. Steps need to be taken. And it's a very, very interesting conversation we're having today. It must, you know, we've been talking and talking. People see, and we've had these incredible rains. What Rob was saying, they are very intense. Uh, the intensity is there, houses are being flooded, it's not going to improve. Those houses, year after year after year, will continue to be flooded in Budiriraj, Tinguiza, and all over the city, because these, this is just an example. The Glenviews, everybody is affected. So these decisions are difficult decisions, they need to be made now.